springtime in the Arctic, and a hungry fox is looking for an easy meal. With eggs to protect, these lesser snow geese won't stray far. An enraged goose has to be taken seriously. She can inflict a nasty bite. The fox is a quick and acrobatic predator. And persistence pays off. Her prize? A rich goose egg. She buries this one for later. A steal and stash ritual she might repeat 1,500 times during a single breeding season. After about three weeks, the goslings hatch. In a land as unforgiving as the Arctic, the fox must make the most of this opportunity. And an unattended nest is an open invitation. The fox attempts to stuff an entire brood of chicks into her mouth, but her greed gets the best of her. It's total carnage. Only a single chick survives. Success for the fox. A tragic loss for the geese. The game of survival at its most merciless. But this fox has her own youngsters to feed. Only fat, healthy cubs will make it through the coming Arctic winter. As for the surviving goslings, they'll have a lot of growing up to do this summer. Only the strong can make the 3,000 mile journey south and the icy jaws of an Arctic winter clamp down fast. Not far away, the midnight sun lights the stage for another epic drama. Every spring, more than a million caribou will travel from their winter homes in the forest to the rich summer grasslands of the Arctic. They flow over the land, a tide of fur and antlers. Because they seldom travel a direct route between their summer and winter ranges, they can be on the move for up to 3,000 miles a year. Nothing slows them down. Young and old alike, driven onward in the name of survival. At the opposite pole, Antarctica descends into a month of brutal darkness. It's midwinter on the frozen continent. Temperatures plummet to almost 80 degrees below zero. One way the penguins survive is to recycle their own body heat. 
Their blood is pre-cooled on the way to their feet, wings, and bill, and warmed on the way back to the heart. A complex heat exchange system in their nasal passages also allows them to recapture 80% of the heat that escapes in their breath. It's all about protecting a treasure, the egg each father keeps warm beneath his belly. It's an investment in the future. Nine weeks of the most punishing conditions on the planet, without food or water, all for a single new life. Spring approaches, but the penguins are at the very limit of endurance. Fiery ribbons illuminate the sky over Antarctica. The Aurora Australis. Beneath the light show, male emperor penguins are still braving the harshest weather on Earth. But these shimmering lights are an omen of a changing season. For the penguins, the end is in sight. 30 days after the sun last set, it rises once more over Antarctica. Since coming ashore to breed, the penguins have been fasting for over a hundred days and lost almost half their body weight. At last, they abandon their huddle. They're still carrying their precious cargo, but their duties are nearly over. With the returning sun, the young begin to hatch. Babysitting duties don't end here. The father must still shelter his fragile chick from the elements. And if the mother hasn't yet returned, he can feed the baby with a protein-rich secretion for up to 10 days. This single feed will sustain the chicks for a few more days, but the males have not eaten for nearly four months. If they don't eat soon, they and their chicks will die. But somewhere out there on the horizon, the female penguins are making their way home. Thousands of miles away in Southern Africa, elephants are also on the move. It's the dry season in the Kalahari Desert one of the most treacherous environments on Earth. Spirals of hot air called sun devils swirl dust up off the salt pan like burning tornadoes. But these creatures are only interested in one thing, water. Nowhere on planet Earth do so many share such an urgent mission. African buffalo join the great trek straight through a cloud of despair. But there's hope on the horizon. In the middle of this immense desert lies a giant oasis the largest inland delta on Earth, the Okavango. It's bone dry now, but life-sustaining water is already on the way. 
It's been a perilous journey, marching for weeks over hundreds of miles. A mother and her calf have fallen dangerously behind the herd. They desperately need a break and head for a patch of woodland. But the Kalahari Desert is merciless.